Hey, hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm going to answer a question that was put to me on the Twitters. Do you think PHP will remain the biggest back-end language? Which would, could replace it? Your opinion about Python back-end. So, I'm sure some nerds out there are going to be going, PHP is not the biggest. Well, by market share, it is the biggest. There's no question about that. And then some nerds will go, yeah, but that's just because of WordPress and Drupal and Joomla. Well, no, if you pull those content management systems out of the equation, PHP still powers about 50, 55% of the uh, dynamic websites out there. Now, a lot of them are admittedly are very simple. They could be simple shopping cart based systems. They, who knows? They could be simple, just simple things. It could be form based systems. What has happened is um, PHP has uh, basically become, has basically hit over or tipped over that proverbial tipping point to the point where, like Java, like Python, like JavaScript, like C, like uh, .NET, I would argue as well, none of these languages, like SQL, none of these languages are going to go away anytime soon simply because they've reached that tipping point they're just woven into the fabric of the nerd universe you're not you're not going to see them disappear so i wouldn't worry about that so the question was do you think php will remain the biggest back-end language i believe it will hold on to its market share it may lose five ten percent over the next 10 years i don't know but the reason i don't think it's going to go anywhere is because PHP, Python, Java, .NET, even Ruby, uh, in terms of what they do, in terms of the functionality and the benefits that they provide, each one has their pros and cons, but they've all gotten so good now that there's no real major reason to want to change from one technology platform to the other it really, it's just not there. You know what I mean? For some company to want to move off of PHP to Python, there has to be something really compelling about Python or something really bad about PHP. Now, people who diss PHP just don't know what they're talking about. They think that PHP is still PHP 3.0 when it's at 7 now. PHP is very fast, object-oriented, uh, they're introducing strong uh, data types apparently soon, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I just did a video. It's used by many of the biggest websites in the world. So it is a performant technology, a performant language. As I said, whether you look at PHP, Python, Ruby, C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, they all have their pros and cons. And depending on what you want to do, you might choose one or the other. So because all these languages are very close in terms of their capabilities, I don't see enough of a reason for people to want to switch from one to the other. It's just in big numbers. It's just not there. Last time I saw a big switch was in terms of server-side programming languages. Let me think about this for a second. Okay. Okay. Last time, I can remember when people made a big switch was when people, a lot of people switched off of J2EE, Java server-side programming, a certain percentage, not a huge, but a big enough percentage, went into Ruby, Ruby on Rails. And that was in response to two things. Number one, Java at that point in time was a huge mess of academia. What do I mean by that? All these designed by committee, huge corporations got together to try to define the Java specification. And I've spoken about this in previous videos. It became a huge mess, a huge kludge, a mess. It was just incredibly difficult to do anything in Java relative to other, other platforms like Ruby and Rails. And so I think that, I don't have any hard data, but I remember back in those days, I remember seeing this rebellion, if you will, in the Java community and pushed a lot of people jumped into to Ruby on Rails and it pushed that up a little bit. Now, that being said, Java is still 
you know, in the top one or two most popular languages out there today. I'm recording this 2019. Java's not going anywhere anytime soon. There's just too much of an investment in the Java technology stack for people to want to leave. Anyway, to wrap it up, no, I don't think PHP is going to be replaced. Not because I think PHP is so far ahead of anybody else. No, I think they're all pretty neck and neck. It depends on what you want to do. You may, depending on what language, depending on what job you want to do, you may choose one language or the other, one framework or the other. Sometimes that comes down to personal taste as well. Some people just prefer a certain language or a certain framework. Anyway, they're all pretty neck and neck in terms of capabilities. You're going to have nerds squabbling about it, but that's just a fact of the matter. And so I don't see enough of a compelling reason to want to switch over or out of PHP for the vast majority of people who use PHP today to do their shopping carts, for their WordPress, uh, for their simple dynamic sites, for their membership sites, etc., etc., etc. It's just not there. One day, maybe some crazy, radically superior technology, which will save a lot of time, may come out to replace it. I do not know. I just don't see that. I just don't see that. I think uh, if it does come out, it'll be like in five or 10 years. And if that type of technology comes out with so much better than PHP, that means it will replace all the other, all the other server-side technology stacks that you see out there. And again, the other technology stacks I'm talking about, well, besides PHP with Laravel or PHP Symphony, you got Python Django, Python Flask, Java and Spring. Spring is the most popular by far. Ruby, Ruby Rails, uh, of course, JavaScript and Node.js and whatever framework you want to use on top of that. Yeah, if something, and then you, but another thing that's interesting is you have IBM that uh, they are working hard with Swift on the server side because Swift has a huge amount of advantages over all the other languages, uh, modern languages that we see out there, except for maybe C, 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 C++, in the sense where Swift is, is as easy to code with as Python or PHP and JavaScript, but it runs super fast. Apparently it runs nearly as fast as C++ at runtime. Now, IBM is pushing this through and they're creating the next type of architecture for enterprise development. But again, it's it's out there, but the need for that tremendous speed, that extra speed boost is just, for most people, it's just not required. So to dump their investment in PHP, in Java, in uh, Python, in Ruby Rails, it's not, it's not worth it to them at this point, even though Swift can run circles around uh, more traditional languages, if you will, as I, uh, as I just mentioned. Anyway, that's it. Pretty good question on the Twitter sphere. Is Twitter sphere? All right, that's it. We'll talk soon. Bye.